Oh, what's this? A present from Apple. Ah, this is iOS 10.3. But is it going to cause any problems for your screen recorders? In what has become a ritual on the Video Gadgets Journal since around iOS 9.3, every time Apple update their software, I always check to make sure that you can download at least one iOS screen recorder and still use it. And that typically is Airshow, and it still is, since it is the best screen recorder currently available. You can put your arguments in the comments below if you want to. So what we're going to do is delete Airshow off our iOS device and then we're going to install iOS 10.3 and from there we will reinstall Airshow and do a quick screen recording. So if we go to the settings we can see that iOS 10.3 is now available on my iPad Mini 4. Huge update this one at 592 megabytes. So this is gonna make some significant changes, but will it make any changes to the way we use our screen recorders? So you can check back with me after I've done the download and install, and we'll do everything from scratch as usual. So see you probably in about three seconds, thanks to video editing. Ah, this update requires at least 50% battery oil to be connected to a power source. Balls. Okay, now we've got that unpleasantness out of the way, let's confirm that we are on iOS 10.3, and we are, which is good news, so we can start a fresh install of Airshow. Now, I will assume that you all know what Tutu Helper is, the usual source for downloading Airshow. I've already done a search to get it up on the screen, tap the install button, that should bring up the pop-up allowing us to install the application and with any luck it will do the usual thing of installing the application with the certificate untrusted at the moment which it does everything is looking according to usual plans go to general profile and device management find the certificate that it's currently signed to which is that one blue trust words red trust button and this should get us into Airshow as if it was on any other iOS version and all looks good. We are into Airshow and to confirm the version number, it is 061. Okay, we've just got one thing left to do and that is to do an actual screen recording, which I will do very quickly in the background and I'll get back to you, hopefully with some screen recording to confirm that everything is good. So there you have it folks, all seems well and good in the world of Airshow in terms of iOS screen recording on iOS 10.3. I haven't tested any of the other iOS screen recorders yet, but I will assume that they all work because what I'm mainly interested in is whether Apple have made any changes to AirPlay, which it doesn't look as if they have thanks to Airshow's tests. If you have any more questions about this, do pop them in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you out. Otherwise, subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal for more iOS screen recording content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. You know the drill. Bye for now. Ow!